When most people think of vehicle emissions, they assume cars do most of the damage. But environmental advocates say it's actually commercial trucks that are largely to blame. Making matters worse, freight traffic on roadways is expected to double by 2050. So we need to look at near zero or zero emission technologies, and we need to transition that from just cars to goods movement, to trucks, to freight. Enter the e-highway of the future, which involves the electrification of trucks and select highway lanes via overhead electrical lines. Think of modern day trolley and light rail systems, but with commercial trucks. The truck itself is electrified with a diesel electric uh, hybrid system. It also has onboard software and automation that when it senses that it's in a lane where electric lines are overhead, it automatically connects to them. Currently being tested in Germany, pilot truck electrification lanes are already being planned in California to connect its ports and cargo centers. The reason? To provide emission-free, noise-free transportation of goods on heavily traveled, albeit short, segments of roadways. These trucks are designed to use both electricity and diesel power and will automatically switch to electric mode when they detect and attach to the overhead lines. Once the truck leaves the lines, it's back to diesel. Well, our analysis shows that this is one of the most feasible ways to provide zero emissions in an economically viable way without sacrificing the operational requirements of these trucks. While the most current e-highway discussions are about connecting ports to cargo centers, the technology can be eventually expanded to allow trucks to travel through cities as well. This is really about creating a more sustainable environment for transportation. There's a lot of attention being paid to cars, but now it's time to turn our attention into large trucks and the things that move our goods across our nation's highways. Advocates note that the technology to create e-highways has already been developed. It's just a matter of deploying it in areas where it'll make the most impact. I'm Kate Brooks.